Hey guys, it's Chris Johnson with Upscale Method. I was just talking with an agency recently about a problem they're, they're having with design quality. Um, a lot of agencies are actually having a problem with consistency as they scale up bigger and bigger. Of course, things are going to become more and more chaotic and design quality is one of the first things to go. So how do you solve that? If you're an agency that is specialized on design and you need to have high quality designs for your high end clients, then this can be a real big deal breaker to scaling up. And so a lot of uh, design companies just decide, well, forget it. It's too difficult. We're going to stay small. And that, that's one solution. <laughs> but if you want to grow, then you do need to solve the design problem. And the design problem is basically this. You're going to have all sorts of design projects coming in and you're going to have all sorts of different design staff working on those projects and the quality of those designs is going to vary quite a bit. And so you're going to be, well, embarrassed in some cases when the design comes out and it just looks terrible. And you're, you're, you're going to wonder if you should have hired that staff member or if you should have tried scaling up in the first place. And you're probably going to start questioning your, your, yourself on, on scaling up your company. So how do you solve this? Well, this, I, I go over this in the course, but simply, if you basically look at your, your hiring is, is going to be if that's going to determine the quality of your design. So before you hire, it's really good to be clear on exactly what industry you're in, what, what problem are you solving for your niche, and then you can start being very clear about your design standards and get really clear on exactly what quality standards you have and what quality means to you. What exactly are your values as a company? What are your design values and standards? So be very clear about that. Write it down get as clear as you can in detail and then start hiring people that are very specifically um, in alignment with your design standards because it's very difficult to force people to follow your design standards if they've been designing in a totally different way their whole life, right? So be very, very specific and that might mean um, only, only hiring or consider hiring one out of a hundred designers that you come across. And so be very, very selective. And as you become very, very selective, because you have a mission statement, because you know what niche you're focusing on, you can be very selective. And then you can start hiring people that can help you uphold your design standards. So that's the first step. Then once you're past that, then make sure that you do have a proper training program in place where we actually train people on how to achieve the type of design quality standards you're aiming for. And then of course you have a, a quality check that you have a checklist that goes through all the main areas of design to make sure that your designs are consistently coming, coming out and, and being completed with the right quality of design. So that might mean a 20 point checklist or a 30 point checklist, maybe even a 100 point checklist to go through and make sure that each point is properly covered and there's no mistakes or errors. And then that way you can make sure that your design quality is very high. So that's just a, a snapshot overview of, of what to do to make sure that your quality is very high when, you, when it comes to design. And if you want to scale up your design to the next level, uh, reach out to me. I'll help you with your design agency and I can show you exactly what to do and how to scale up your design agency. There are a lot of different problems that enter a design agency. Some of them are design quality. Some of them are related to staffing and project management. And one of the big ones that I deal with and I specialize in is sales and advertising. You do need to get really good at landing your own high ticket clients, making sure that you can pay the bills every month, build retainers so that you can actually have a consistent, stable revenue month over month. So I'll go into that in more detail. If you want, just reach out to me and we can go over these things and I can help you with your agency. So I hope we can form a relationship in the near future and I look forward to serving you and working with you. Thanks a lot. This is Chris with Upscale Method. Have a good one. Bye now.